Hello, my name is Alexander Maximitz and I'm a research engineer in Facebook AI Research, working on Habitat and one of challenge organizers. My talk is divided in several parts. First, we will briefly talk about Habitat, then about tasks for the challenge, concluding with the winner announcement and submission analysis. Habitat is a simulation platform for research in embodied AI. Our goal is advanced science and engineering for the field. This habitat enables training of virtual robots and egocentric assistants in highly photorealistic and efficient 3D simulator before transferring learned skills to reality. This year, Habitat Challenge is part of embodied AI workshop at CVPR 2021. That includes nine of the other challenges as well. The results of Habitat Challenge 2020 indicate that uh, the benchmarks we proposed previous year were far from being solved or stagnated. So we continue to point nav without localization sensors and object semantic navigation tracks. Point nav task uh, where agent has to navigate to locations specified with coordinates without localization sensor is much harder than point nav with GPS and compass and has significant amount of the realistic noise. We believe that solutions of the task specified this way will unblock usage of point nav as subtask for other tasks where no GPS and compass is provided, like visual na la language navigation or embodied question answering, as well as help better seem to real transferability. Let's look on sensors available to the agent. First, goal specification is relative to episode start position and doesn't update during navigation. Then visual RGBD sensors observations that are noisy and the uh, building map leveraging the depths is harder. While we have four discrete actions, the action doesn't guarantee deterministic position orientation transformation. We use lockabout um, actuation noise model here. Does the task specification remain unchanged to previous year? This year for the agent's camera tilt angle, we changed it and the agent can observe the area in front of it as the camera now is tilted. Switching to semantic navigation task. The goal of task is to navigate to the object specified by category, like find a fireplace. In terms of observation, the goal is specified by goal category and is static during episode. GPS and compass is provided uh, to model robots odometry uh, to, and is relative to episode start position. There can be more than one object from goal category. Navigation to any of them considered successful, but the closest one is required for optimal performance. And regarding performance. We use success weighted path by path lengths called SPL metric to evaluate the agent's navigation. This year, uh, there are some statistics for this year, and uh, this year, number of participants' teams increased significantly compared to previous one. And the number of teams submitted to object nav challenge phase uh, doubled. It's time to announce the winners of point nav challenge. And um, point nav challenge first place is Inspire AI Robotics Team with a 0.74 SPL. Congratulations to the team. Inspire AI Robotics team includes Shailong, Hu, Shupan Wei, Tan Chu, Jane, Chen Jun Wang, and use deep reinforcement learning for end to end localization and navigation by learning visual odometry together with policy. And the sec second place is Ukulab team with a 0 0.72 SPL. Congratulations to the team. 
Ukulab team was led by Ruslan Parsei from Ukrainian Catholic University Lviv and used robust visual odometry for realistic point goal navigation approach. Winning teams will present their approaches in separate five minute talks. If you check SPL with confidence intervals, there is no interval overlap between teams, as well as the statistical significant tests show that all submissions are significantly different from each other. Here is a leaderboard sorted by SPL. Here is a leaderboard sorted by soft SPL. We encourage all participants to fill details about their approaches and add links to detailed descriptions. To analyze the impact of last mile, we show potential SPL chart with two large, larger success zones. And as we see, the winner team's performance won't improve much. We see breakthrough happening with a major three times in performance improvement in 2021 for point now version two. There is a 0.2 absolute gap between a success and SPL for best performing entries. Based on our experiments, that can be uh, that can be caused by actuation noise. And we noted that even with agent with ground truth GPS and sensor, it reaches only 0.76 SPL. Well, success is 0.99. So the problem of replacement localization sensors for this task is close to be to being solved. That's amazing news. Let's switch to object net task and announce results of the challenge there. So the first uh, place is Red Rabbit team uh, with a SPL 0 0.13. Congratulations to the team. Red Rabbit team was led by Joel Yi and uh, used auxiliary task and exploration enable object nav approach. And the second place is Habitat on Web team. Uh, congratulations to the team with SPL 0.06. So Habitat on the Web team was led by Ram, Ram, Ram Rahia and uh, used learning exploration for object nav using human demonstrations. Winning teams will present their approaches in separate five minute talks. Here is a leaderboard sorted by SPL and soft SPL. As you can see, we winning entry reached 30% of success on the test challenge split. That's amazing. We compare success to SPL here, and we can think about success as upper limit of SPL. If all successful episodes would be would have ground tools navigation, we, we as we see the agent pass was at least twice longer compared to shortest pass on average. So that was exploration stage takes. Based on human performance on 12,000th episodes from train split provided by the Habitat on Web team, we can expect human performance will be around 0.4 SPL and 0.87 success. So object map has a room till we can reach human performance. While progress was made, object net task is far away from being solved. From organizer side, I want to thank all our participants. That's, and that's exciting to see what progress was made for both benchmarks. We want to thank partners from uh, Embodied AI challenges and um, embodied AI workshop to supporting us in, in this journey and eval evaluate for hosting our challenges as well as Facebook for providing evaluation infrastructure. We are grateful everyone who had fun with us and we are going to keep test standard leaderboard active to be source of truth for state-of-the-art performance for the tasks. Thank you.